Let's go over how to add more columns to your MailChimp template without MailChimp. So here are the types of templates that you get inside MailChimp. These are the basic templates and these are in the old builder. And what you'll get is one column, two columns, or three columns. But what you don't get is one, two, three, or three, two, three, or maybe three, 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 and maybe you need that to feature your products or your images or whatever it is that you're talking about in your, your newsletter. So we're gonna come outside of MailChimp, we'll create the columns in another app, and then we'll just import the HTML. So this is an app that I like and I use a lot, and it's called Be Free. There's another app that's similar to this, and it's called Stripo, S-T-R-I-P-O. These are both great for doing what we're trying to do here, which is add columns into your email without having any coding skills. So here we're just gonna go to create new, create a new email, and they have just a million templates um, already preloaded that you could just edit, you can replace your images. So let's just pick one. We'll let it load up. You're gonna change what you need to change so you can change your images, you can change the text, but we'll just, this is all just editable. Um, you just change your images here. But the great thing about this is you can add so many different combinations of rows and columns. You can pretty much do whatever you want and Be Free or Stripo, they will both um, produce a responsive email that looks pretty good. Sometimes you have to edit it just a little bit. Um, so what we would do here is, say you, here you have three columns, maybe you want to add four columns. You just scroll down, grab the columns, and drag it in. Now you have four columns here in this section of your email. You're just gonna click on content, and then you can drag the content in. So maybe you want four images. And then under that, you're, maybe this is a product block, so you want a title under each one. And then under that, you want a CTA. Then you'll edit these, you'll browse for your images. You'll update your titles here. You can change the size and the styling here, but this is literally just text. And then you'll change your CTA, add the URL, do any other styling things you want, like you can click on the row, you could change the background color of the row. Um, you can pretty much do whatever you want in here. And once that's done, you're just gonna go ahead and export it. So it's saving now. We'll exit. Here's my email. We'll export it. I'm just gonna copy the HTML. You can also host the images yourself or Be Free can host them for you. So I'm gonna copy that here and then we're gonna go back to MailChimp. We're gonna code our own. Pasting code. And then you'll just paste in the code from Be Free into this editor. Click over here. And here is your email. And you can see that it's responsive because when my window is small, it's stacking the products for you that we added. Um, you can choose inside Be Free if you wanted to, for some reason you didn't want the email to be responsive. You can actually click on the columns and choose not to stack in mobile. I, I don't recommend doing that, um, but if there, there are some use cases for that and you can do that here. So then even on a mobile device, you'll have the three across or four across. Maybe that could work with tiny icons or something. Um, but I would recommend leaving this off. And here is your email inside MailChimp. And what you would do is if you wanted to edit this, you would just go back to Be Free, make your changes, and then repaste in your code.
So what do you need to be able to use Be Free and import into MailChimp? Two things. You need a paid MailChimp account because MailChimp will not allow you to import HTML if you're on the free plan. So make sure that you get the paid account. And then Be Free is actually free. So we'll look at their plans over here. So you can actually get a free account and that is up to 10 email exports. Oh, actually it's unlimited exports, um, but maybe you can create 10 emails. So if you're looking to just do this a one-off, you're usually gonna use the MailChimp template. You can totally use the free account and then um, they have team accounts if you were on a team or in an agency or something. But to start, it doesn't hurt to try this. It's totally free, it's super easy to use. And we'll look at Stripo in another video.